Folks, and welcome to another round of Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale. This time around, we're going to be facing somebody rather unique. If we can click on him. This is Godzilla 1954, but check this out. Hold shift while you're selecting him for some alternative colors. And boom, we've got... Well, all these. We've got a Godzilla who's pure black and white, gray atomic fire, gray with orange fire, green with orange fire, gray with white fire, brown with white fire. Now, gray with blue fire, I think, is the... Uh, default code, so we're gonna go with that for now. Blah blah blah, we haven't seen this before. Notice the darker music this time around. If you can, if you can hear it, over my big blabbity voice. Go okay, begin in 3, 2, 1. Megalon. Oh, and I can move while char using this atomic ray too, which makes Godzilla 1954 pretty dangerous. Godzilla 1954 is kind of slow on his feet, but he's got some pretty tough physical attacks. Well, okay, scratch that. The physical attacks suck, but the atomic ray is dangerous. It's kind of slow, though, so it's either or. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, and you can use the tail whip, too. So, overall, Godzilla 1954 isn't half bad. In fact... Hey, asshole, I got roach spray from hell. You want it? I got it. Hacha, hacha, hacha. I don't like to jump while I attack. It just looks goofy. I'm sorry, but it does. Go away. Oh, and just in case you didn't realize already, Godzilla 1954 probably has the coolest roar in the game. Oh, and he has a victory roar automatically whenever he wins, too. So that's two things he's got going for him. Game one will begin eventually. Pick on my son, will you? I wonder exactly what it means when his... Whenever I hit that, um... Uh, ouch. When I hit his... Use atomic fire attack whenever he doesn't have any energy left, they glow blue, but it doesn't seem to actually do anything. Ow. Hey, buddy! I'm from the best movie in the series, you're from the worst. Slow your roll. Fire, 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 nom nom. Ouch. Okay. What the? I'm stuck. Ah, not anymore, I'm not. Never mind. Tokyo. This place seems familiar. And... Hedra. You know, you're like what Orgo was when I was playing the game earlier. down here. I've got you stuck. I've got you right where I want you. Pow, pow, pow. Hey, I'm from the 50s. We don't worry about pollution. Get back to the 70s. Ow. Oh, I can aim the ray, too. Cool. Sweet. I'm a little surprised I can jump as 54, though. 54 was sort of a big, slow, lumbering, plotting creature, and he is here, too, but it's not to the point where He's absolutely awful, which is a good thing, too. Don't do that again. Down he goes. Discovered our base on Earth? Not for long. Can we begin? Come on. Megagirus. Doesn't appear until the 2000s. Megagirus is basically a giant dragonfly queen from ancient time brought to the present in a, by a wormhole in an attempt to kill Godzilla. Although they didn't actually intend to use Megagirus to kill Godzilla, they just sort of intended to use the wormhole to kill him. But interestingly enough, I think it's appropriate that Megagirus, uh, Meg Megagirus appears here because Megagirus appears in the one timeline in the franchise where Godzilla was never killed in 1954. And that was weak. Next you'll face our trump card. Okay. Prepare for trump card. Space Godzilla. I debuted in a good movie. You did not. Well, that's sort of debatable. I mean, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, a lot of the fans don't like it, but it's not bad. It's not, like, horrible. It's not like Gabber way back there, but it's definitely one of the weaker entries in the series, and possibly the weakest entry in the... 90s series. 
I really do appreciate also how G1954 has all these various attacks. Claw, claw, bite, claw, bite, claw, bite, tail whip, tail whip, tail whip, tail whip, atomic ray. There goes a bunch of your crystals. Now you can't do as much as you used to. Thank you very much, Ow. But you can still shoot me with a coronary ray. Don't you pull that crap on me anymore. Fire. Fire the fire. I wonder if that's what they yell whenever they hit, attack somebody with a flamethrower. Fire! Why, yes, sir, you noticed. Next. The Earth was safe once again. All thanks to Godzilla, or is it? Okay, that's actually a little bit creepy. Yeah, okay, 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 I'm, I'm moving on. Bonus stage, Tokyo. That was actually kind of creepy. To be fair, this was the only... Ah, Wolfman! I was just about to say, this is the only movie in the series that was actually a full-fledged horror flick. Fortunately, we've got somebody else from a horror flick. And I know you're thinking, it's like, Wolfman, what the hell? Well, got... to be fair, this is not without precedent. Godzilla... The creators of Godzilla actually made a fan film that was never released to the general public called Godzilla vs. Legendary Beast Wolfman, and that's who we see fighting Godzilla here. Fortunately, we're a walking flamethrower, and that's a walking hair suit, so... Screw you. Barbecue for everyone. Silver bullet my ass. Just apply Godzilla to the monster. Alrighty. This has been the Godzilla 1954 playthrough. Hope you liked the video. L feel free to like, subscribe, do whatever you please. The link to the game is in the description below. And I hope you have a good night. I will see you next time when we will be running around with Godzilla 1963. See you then.